hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm back with another nail haul i have a few items from amazon and i got a package from shein today so i just decided to go ahead record this for you guys and upload so first i got some more um odor out drops this one i showed one on the last haul this one is from joya mia and it's the apple scented odor out drops when i try new things i like to try more than one so i got the one i showed in my last haul and this one they were both ordered at the same time but this one just came in so let me go ahead and show you what it looks like I'm gonna make sure everything is linked in the description box in case you see something you like and you want to get for yourself so remember to check the description box and everything will be there for you I'm not gonna remember the prices for everything <laughs> but I'm gonna try but the links will be available so this is what it looks like and it does smell like apples I'm gonna test that out and i'll let you guys know in the next video if it works or not the one from the previous video it did work however the next item we have this is a pack of stickers from amazon these are christmas stickers i don't really have any seasonal or holiday items or i don't have much but so i went ahead and i got this pack of stickers let me see if I can remember the price. Hmm. Find it real quick. I'll just go ahead and have a look at the options that are available with these stickers. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can pull my order up for you guys. Okay, so the pack of stickers, it's an 11 piece pack of stickers and I paid $4.99, so not a bad deal I think, $4.99 for 11 full sheet stickers. And again, I got this on Amazon. On to the next item. Don't mind my starburst. Oop. Wrong bag. That one I'm leaving for last. So, next item is some nail tips I got. I got these are just regular plain square nail tips. They I got them in natural and clear. Let me just go ahead and show you what they look like. Watch me struggle to get this box open because it's taped shut and I didn't even realize. There we go. Finally getting it open. And that's what they look like. And the clear ones are exactly the same thing, just clear. you guys hear nursery rhymes in the background i'm sorry about that my daughter is downstairs right now she's standing in front of the television trying to turn one of her um pacifier clips into a necklace <laughs> or a tail i'm sorry i'm watching her on the monitor <laughs> 
moving on to our next Amazon item. Yup. This is a big old bag of extra, 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 extra long tips. I saw someone calling them the, the bad and bougie. I think one of the brands um, called them the bad and bougie tips. I'm just gonna call them bad and bougie. But yeah, I got these for practice. I can't wear my nails this long because I've got a one year old and I'm gonna be constantly worrying about scratching her or poking her eyes out or something. So this is a bag of 600 pieces and I got it for $19.99 on Amazon. So that's 600 tips, $19.99. Next, I got some 7 milliliter um, double walled jars. These I'm going to be using to mix my practice builder gels. I'm going to be mixing glitter gels in the pink ones. I also have the gray ones in my cart, which I'm going to be using to try to mix me up some colored builder gel. So stay tuned for those experiments coming soon. And this is a pack of 36 and I got that for, well, they come in separate packs, but it all came as one item. 36 pieces in all, $12.99. Next, I went ahead and I got me two 8-ounce jars of Mia Secret Clear Acrylic. Everyone, all the um, YouTuber, new YouTubers I watch have... Well, not all. Most of them recommend me a secret for beginners. So I went ahead and I got me two big jars. I might actually end up using one of the jars um, to mix some colored acrylics. I've been mixing glitters, but so far I haven't successfully mixed any colors that I would use on myself. The ones that I've attempted to mix so far, I'll be using for practice. So as you can see, the jar is pretty much full. And again, those are two 8-ounce jars. And I got them for $20.95 each on Amazon. Also, I did mention in my previous video that I'm going to be um, checking out clears from clear acrylics from different brands so i went ahead and i got some from saviland this is their four ounce jar of clear acrylic and i got that for 9.99 on amazon also in the box they have a little instruction booklet showing you how to apply the acrylic with some instructions and i'm assuming some warnings etc i haven't read it yet Next item Next I think we're moving on to Shein items So yeah, so I got this pack of I think it's a pack of a hundred tips from Shein These are stiletto um, natural tips um, I bought these for practice again Brand new to nails. Well, not brand new anymore. I've, I've amassed quite a collection of nail products, nail art, glitters, etc. So now it's time for me to get into really practicing how to lay some acrylics. So I got some more practice tips and that was Okay, this this was a this was a problem most of this is the um assorted colored little stones um stone decorations for nails as you can see there's spillage in the bag it spilled out in the bag that all the items were packed in just spilling all over the place so i have it in that ziploc bag i'm not even gonna try to take it out And I went ahead and I got swatch sticks. I got some short square 
um, swatch sticks. These were, I think, um, $1.50 or $2, and they are the 48 piece pack. So I went ahead and got four of those. Four packs of those. Yeah, so the tips were 100 pieces for $2.50. The swatch sticks are. 150 48 pieces those are the square ones and now i'm showing you the stilettos i got four packs of that one as well and those are 40 pieces for 150. i'm just showing you that i got four those next we're gonna be moving on to some nail charms can't have too many so the first one i'm showing you this is the blue set it comes with those little uh, metal pieces hearts and circles and so on and this is the amber set i did i think i hauled this one before i don't mind having more and this is the pink set also in the pack along with the metal pieces and the stones they are caviar beads so one had clear one had blue and one has pink next I've, I've been waiting for these I actually have these in my aliexpress cart and i was about to check them out until i realized i already ordered them from shein so these are the water droplet um, rhinestones some people call them um, pearls but they're they look more like water droplets to me and that's one box for 250 on Shein again guys I'm gonna link everything in the description box I'm not gonna remember all the prices but let's just go ahead and go through so this is a box of bows so we have six different type of bows and i think there are um four or six bows in each box there i'm showing you what each of the different types of bows look like they're all different no repeats in this box I love the long tails on that one. I can just see my daughter spending 20 minutes to a half an hour inspecting <laughs> these bows if I ever get to wear them. But again, it's good to have a lot of options when it comes to your nail art. Here are some, these I weren't, I wasn't expecting because it was a box of bows, but there are some tiny little reindeer, they're iridescent, you can't really see that on my hand, but definitely good to have for Christmas coming up. This is another long tailed bow. Guys, don't mind my gloves. I know they're bigger than my hands. I have a tendency to buy medium instead of small because I don't like having anything to tight especially around my wrist Ugh, makes me want to I don't wear watches I don't wear bracelets anything like that because they just feel restricting so I tend to buy gloves bigger than my hand size so just forgive the look of the gloves I'm only wearing them because I'm trying to hide my hard nails I've been trying to get this poly gel off for a while, but again, I can only do so when the little one gives me time. And here I'm noticing that the box, the, the lids aren't closing, so I'm just putting it in a Ziploc bag so I don't end up losing all of these, because yeah, I would.
next we have some little metal um, decal charm thingies to um, put on top of the nail they're thin enough to go on top of the nail or you can encapsulate them and these are mostly roses but there are some leaves as well different types of leaves different types of roses and some other flowers and these are gold on one side and coppery bronze or rose gold on the other side more copper to me Next, we have this box of butterflies. They're the same type of nail art, um, thinly sliced gold pieces, different types of butterflies. But these are the copper color on one side and black on the other side. I'm just shaking them off the walls to try to give you a better view. These are all different styles of butterflies. And here we have another box of butterflies, but these are definitely not thin or these can't be encapsulated. These are the ones that you just sit on the nail. So they come in different sizes. We have gold, silver, we have the rose gold, and we have gunmetal. And they're small, medium, large. The gold one has more sizes and options than the others, but that's fine. We use more gold. Well, I'll be using more gold anyway. And here we have another jar of those mixed um, nail art decorations. And this one actually has some of those stone pieces that were peeling out, spilling out of that pack. So, yeah. It actually it also has some very pretty stones included. They're not flat back. I don't know yet <laughs> how I'm gonna be using them because I have no practice with cluster um, cluster art, I think it's called. But yeah, good to practice. Here I am struggling to take out one of these stones so I can show you how pretty and shiny they are success look at that i love the shine on those and i love the color shifts oops sorry about that Next, we're moving on to some more charms. This first set, these are some silver skull and crossbone charms, which I think would come in handy for Halloween. We don't celebrate Halloween in Jamaica, but I will be celebrating Halloween virtually. I've always wanted to dress up in costume and all of that. So I'm gonna find a way and I'm gonna try to do some Halloween nails, so look out for that. Next, we have um, this pack of charms as well. These, um, we have some jelly type iridescent hearts in there, some jelly iridescent crowns, and then some tiny little circles. I'm definitely going to be taking all these crowns to show you what they look like. They're so gorgeous. Hope you can see them clearly. Look at that. With the little heart-like design in the center. I really like those. And then on the other side, we have... I, I, I don't remember what these are called. I do not remember what these are called, but... We have them in black, we have a pale pink, and then we have them in bright pink. I 
Next, we're moving on to the pretty shiny creepy crawlies. These are some spider some spider charms and they have the big stone the two stones for the body and there he goes and he's back anyways yeah because of how the it's set up with the legs and everything i think this one would be pretty easy to apply on the nail it's, it's not curved but because of the legs you won't have an issue it won't be sticking off in places where it's not supposed to I'm definitely going to be going back for the other colors. I think they have it in silver as well. This is another bag of... These are all 10 pieces, by the way. This is another bag of skull charms. But these ones are more like Day of the Dead skulls. Like um, Dia de los Muertos, I think. It's, it's, I don't speak Spanish, guys. I'm just trying. And here I am struggling to open this bag. I don't know why it was trying to fight me. But guess who won in the end? So these are some snowflake charms. And they have little stones around the edges of the snowflake. I don't know if you can see that shine. Yes, there it is. Great for winter nails. We don't have snow in Jamaica, but hey, when it comes to nails, that doesn't matter. Next, I'm moving on to some of these jelly iridescent roses. This is a 30 pack. I think they, they also have it in blue and maybe pink. I'm def I'm sure about the blue and I'm not sh so sure about the pink. And I actually think I have another pack of those on the way. Didn't realize I had already ordered them, so I ended up ordering again. But that's fine. Next, this wheel of rhinestones. When I was looking at them on the website, I really liked the way um, they shifted color and so on. So I decided to just go ahead and get the wheel. I usually don't get these wheels with stones because I don't usually like the way those stones look, but I like these. I really really like these can't really see the color shift here but they're very pretty next these are some charm these are some um diamond shaped charms with stones around the edges and a big stone in the center they look better on camera than they do in real life i really i'm not really feeling these ones they look very very cheap they look like almost like plastic but they're not they're not but you know that's how they would look like a car catcher of what they're supposed to be Next, we have some more bows. When I picked up this pack of bows, I didn't realize that the ones that were in the box are also in this pack. So I got some duplicates, but that's fine. But there are some other bows in there that weren't in the box. And here we have another jar of um, mixed nail art decorations. Watch me struggle. <laughs> There we go. Now there are no caviar beads in this one, so I can actually pour it out without worrying about losing it all. I love the blue on those stones. And it has the squares and the triangles and also some pearls, but I love the color of those stones.
next got another pack of these i hauled them before but the the ones i showed in my previous haul they were a different color scheme so i just decided to get the other colors that they had available so i have the white reticent i have the neon pink I have the neon green, the neon yellow, the purple, and the orange, I want to say. And they're all color shifts, as you can see. These are um, little diamond-shaped sequins. They're not flat, they're the raised kind, so you can make a little um, raised pattern on the nail. Or they can be encapsulated as well. Next. What am I doing? Ah, this is a pack of stickers that I got. I said I was going to stop with the stickers, but I got more stickers. Or are these water decals? I think these are actually water decals. I don't own any water decals. Now I do, but before these, I didn't own any. And clumsy me scattered them all over the place. But I'm just going to go ahead and show you what each of these look like. They're all fruits and sweets and so on. So there we have some cherries, some lemons, some watermelons, strawberries. We have some strawberries, some in color, some not, along with some pineapple and stuff. stuff. And these are the full cover decals. Here we have the sweets and going through this pack guys I had the worst craving for some cupcakes but at the time I was filming this uh, we were on lockdown so there was no going out to get any sweets so I had to bite my lip but look at all these sweets And of course, there's fruits in there included as well, but mostly sweets. I'm just going to be quiet so you guys can enjoy the sweets and the fruits. Okay guys, next, I actually forgot the most important package, the one I was leaving for last, so I had to record this and add this on the end. So here we are moving on to the piece de resistance. And this is from Amazon. This item was actually recommended from my fave, I am Biscuit. I am Biscuit 7 on Instagram and TikTok. But she found <clears throat> the item I just packed on, in, on Amazon and recommended it to her viewers or subscribers on one of her lives. But I went ahead and I got this um, tip cutter. It is the, um, the one that you put the thing on and then you can measure how long you want your tips and then cut them all to the same length. So I had to get one of those because my tips usually come out looking lopsided anyways 
here are the items that I'm most excited about. So I went ahead and I got two, I, two of the items she recommended on that video. I went ahead and I got the half hand and the finger. So I'm going to show you first the finger. And this was surprised the quality of this was well not surprising since biscuit recommended it but the quality is great and it came with some tips some of the same tips i ordered because <laughs> yeah practice 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 with my new toys so this is what the finger looks like guys it's bendy Yeah, so you can bend, you can flex, and of course, it has an added benefit of you being able to put the tip into the cuticle of the finger instead of um, clipping tips on the plastic. I have one of those plastic hands, and I'm not really a fan, so I'm hoping these work out better for me. But this is how you apply the, those long tips. And there you have it. Your finger is ready to practice. Just testing that I can file without it, without it popping out or anything like that. And yes, I can. I'm definitely looking forward. I'm trying to find the right size here. I'm definitely looking forward to practice now that I have these. Sorry, again, I'm sorry if there's noise in the background. Can't be helped with a one year old. She hates sleep, she fights it every chance she gets. So, I can't say I'm gonna record and do voiceovers or whatever when she's asleep because the least little sound, especially the sound of my voice, wakes her. So, I'm sorry if you're hearing any noise in my background. Now let's move on to the hand. I'm trying to figure out how to open the box. And I opened it upside down. Here we go. showing you uh, the dust bag that it comes in that's very nice that they packaged it in a dust bag and that's what the hand looks like doesn't look like the color I ordered but no matter very detailed this was definitely a mold of someone's hand you um, what it looks like when you put the tips in some of you already know because some of you have been biscuit subscribers as well I am biscuit that is so you guys have probably seen her videos using the hand but for those of you who haven't that's what it looks like once you have applied the tip And Biscuit, I Am Biscuit does recommend that when putting the tips in, you try to size up so you don't have as much movement. That's what I'm trying to do here, trying to figure out the right sizes. I think this is my favorite um, nail related purchase so far.
so there we go and that's what she looks like with her tips applied looking bad and bougie or about to be bad and bougie That was weird. Anyways, this is what they look like, guys. And I'm definitely gonna be getting some practice in. I, along with the um, odor out drops that I showed you guys, I actually ordered some what's supposed to be low odor monomers. I'm waiting for that to come in as well because I'm trying to use monomer without. The scent it's not possible to get rid of it, all of the scent but yeah without most of it so thank you guys for watching thank you guys for tuning in don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell and i will see you in the next video bye